and the usual mistake or dysfunctional way to, of living, unconscious way, is, as I've mentioned before, is devaluing the present moment and overvaluing the next moment. Ego lives always reference to past and future. The mentally are always somewhere else. Instead of giving fullest attention to this, because this is the most valuable moment. Why? Because it's the only one, the present moment. Give your fullest attention to this moment, because it's not true that the next moment is more significant, because it never comes. So there is a way of being totally present in the planning for the next, for the future. It's all little things. And even the, whoever, if you are the Pope or the President of a huge corporation or the President of a country, it's still the same. The present moment in its richness that is usually overlooked because you're looking for something more significant. It's, not, it's, it's fine to achieve things, especially if they are beneficial, but for humanity and the totality on the planet, it's lovely to have that. But they don't, even that doesn't make up your identity. The more you honor the small things, the more likely it is that you'll experience more good things in the so-called future, because you have such a good relationship with the present. The gratitude is an, an underlying uh, state of consciousness, which is giving your fullest attention, honoring what is the the power to manifest is in experiencing the fullness of the present moment the undifferentiated fullness so when you don't complain about not only not other people, but also about your life. Then you can't be a victim anymore. I is the light of consciousness in which these feelings are being experienced right now. A victim is a is a huge a huge prison. It's not it is not who you are and remember thanks for everything. I have no complaint whatsoever. So there's this wonderful stillness here. And let's acknowledge it. The power is not just in you, it's all around you. 